All right, welcome back everybody. Anybody that's new here, thanks for joining me today. As you can see, I'm already out on the lake. Uh, yeah, on my favorite flowage. Well, one of them anyways, I fish many flowages. If you're new here, subscribe. I fish a lot of big water. Uh, if you like big water and stuff like that, big fish too. Hopefully the thumbnail is a giant walleye because that's exactly what I'm targeting this morning. Um, I'm gonna try and move around a little bit here and find some brush piles. Uh, just a tip for you guys, if you before the video even starts, I'm gonna be following uh, an old river channel, which is basically, some of you guys asked what a flowage before is. It's just a dammed up portion of a river that turns into a lake. That's a flowage. Um, so you're trying to find the old river, the main river where it initially started before they dammed it up and everything got flooded. And uh, yeah, you're just following that uh, thing. The biggest way I can describe it to you is if you're used to fishing rivers, uh, breakwater, stuff like that, uh, slack water, there's still flow going through these things. That's why they're called flowages. Um, they're usually managed for water and uh, like water levels and stuff like that on rivers. But uh, yeah, you're basically following the same flow stuff that you would if you were river fishing. So that's the quickest tip I can give for you. Uh, I still have to move around a little bit here. I stopped, but I have many, many, many places to check. I th This is one of my favorite flowages, so I actually have a bunch of places GPSed already. So I'm just gonna kind of hop around. Um, if you're new here, I actually run a live scope right now. Uh, if you're not new here, you know that's my new toy for the season. The coolest thing is gonna be this. I already did all the hard work. I drilled a bunch of holes around this lake uh, for years and GPS basically spots that have wood and stuff like that. So if you're looking for good spots on a flowage, the river thing is one thing to try to follow. And then obviously if there's wood anywhere on this giant body of water, there's gonna be fish around. I think, yep, I already have it set up. So, thing number one thing I love on this flowage, or any flowage for that matter, is a good rattle bait. And it's dark today, so I'm gonna throw the glow down, uh, try to get their attention early. I got this on my Tuned Up Customs Commander. It's my walleye rod, big fish rod. So, uh, I think this, yeah, that's a 2000 Abu. I have everything linked in the description. If you guys wanna help support the channel, I'll put all this down there. You pick any of it up, it kinda helps the channel out, so. Remember that, but yeah, let's see if uh, see if we can find some big fish. Okay, so one thing I want to teach everybody is on flowages, you want to make a bunch of noise. So I have a rip and wrap down, uh, like I was showing you guys, and the biggest thing here is you really don't want to run around a bunch unless you're uh, hitting structure and all the different stuff. The big thing I like to do on flowages that I learned in the past is kind of just set up in a good spot and let the fish kind of come to you. Give it, you know, 10, 20 minutes and see if uh, anything's around. So far, I'm not seeing anything moving down there. I did already drill a couple of holes out, like you guys seen, out into the channel uh, sometimes. So this is still January. Sometimes midwinter, the fish will actually already be in deep, deep parts of the channel, even if it is overcast skies. Um, you would think in the mornings they would be up shallow, <laughs> like they typically would anywhere else, but these fish beat to their own drum. So there's your tip for the day. Just kind of make a bunch of noise. I'm going to do some good rips here, and uh, yeah, hopefully something big comes in. This lake's not a numbers lake, but I'm just trying to get that one giant fish. A couple of them down on the bottom. I think I got his attention. Yep. <laughs> what is it? Oh. <clears throat> it's 
start with a decent perch. Really got to start keeping that freaking hemostat on me. <laughs> going free okay so I uh, I keep seeing fish swim through here a ton of them and I've seen some decent sized ones too like eater walleye I wouldn't mind catching some of those so I'm gonna use this uh, the new dead stick from tuned up customs this is my 36 inch it's got a big noodley rod tip with a nice medium heavy backbone so I'm gonna throw this at my iFish Pro in this hole and then I'm going to go drill some other jigging holes around this hole. That's a lot of holes. <laughs> Either way, there's a deep spot right here, and it seems like they're kind of congregating in it, so I'm going to see if I can get them on a minnow. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to set this set line, my Arctic Pro. And I'm right next to this, but I figured at least this way I have something live down there. And because there's no wind today, I can just leave that open, free spool them. Hopefully we get something big. Okay, I'm going to see if I can get somebody's attention with this number four pink UV slab wrap. They don't like the rip and wrap today, it seems. Maybe too much noise. Okay, I switched it up to a gold hammered slender spoon with a minnow head. See if that gets them to bite. fish flying through here. Oh, fish coming up to check it out. I got a school of fish below me right now. Got him. Gold slender spoon was the trick. Ugh. Not sure what this is, but feels good. This is part of a school of like six fish, so we'll see what he is. Eater walleye? <laughs> a couple guys are just fishing by me and they just left. Just had to switch the bait. He ate that. I'll take eater walleye all day. Not bad. See? Gold slender spoon. Link it below. Alright, so that's one. Uh, so out here you can keep, uh, what is it, three between 15 and 19 inches and then one over 28, but I'll never kill one over 28. They're too fun to catch. Um, but yeah, you guys saw it. Hopefully I can show you guys pretty good from the GoPro's point of view um, that there was like five coming in from both directions and I got the gold slender spoon on and go figure that's the one he came in and just munched it. So they're feeding hard on that. Only thing is, is I wish I would have brought more minnows now. Um, I only brought a couple, I think I got a dozen and a half or something like that, so that I could just put out the tip-ups. Um, funny thing is, is I watched them swim right past my set line, so they want that big gold slender spoon. Uh, that's like on 1 16th ounce, I think. So, like I said, I'll link it in the description for you guys, and then obviously that was on the Commander. Uh, that I fish, or the <laughs> Tune-Up Custom Rods Commander is pretty, it's a pretty stout rod, but even at like 16 inch fish, he was pulling on it pretty good, so good hook set. Let's get another. I think I got another school of fish that came in. They don't look that big though. They 
here's a bigger one on the bottom. Almost looks like a northern pike though. I think that's what it is. This might be a big pike. <laughs> Very likely. <laughs> it's not a pike. It's a really, really big walleye. But that looked like a northern pike to me. Crazy head shakes. Might be a giant walleye. <laughs> that would be something. Gotta be careful, I got six pound test on this reel. <laughs> this is a really stiff action commander. Oh, he came off. As I was about to say, this is a really stiff action rod. So he was throwing some huge head shakes in there. That might have been a big walleye. Well then. Okay, next time we set the drag a little bit better. Can you can come too. I got a fish coming in. Hold on. Hold on. Come on. Eat it. Oh, you suck. Where'd you go? Oh, there's another one. Come on. Coming in hot. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, on. <laughs> what are you? Fish. Oh, that's why. I would catch a white bass with you on the phone. <laughs> I am not keeping that. White bass. What is that? So I had the camera off. Oh. That's a walleye. <laughs> Sitting here on the phone with my ma trying to have a conversation. I'm starting to get fish coming in. I'm going to have to get off the phone. <laughs> that guy's not big enough though. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I guess I have white bass and, uh, and walleye starting to come underneath me. I was gonna move, but I think this is gonna be the main highway for the, uh, the the noon bite here, and I was gonna try to move around to find some bigger fish, but 
I'm kind of happy with catching some eaters. And plus, I did have that one giant on. I'll leave that in there. Um, if another giant comes through, let's let's try to get it topside this time. Um, plus, it got really sunny out, and it wasn't supposed to be. This lake does extremely well when it's sunny. So keep your fingers crossed for me. We catch some monsters, and I can get off this lake before it gets too hot. Just dropped down on some wood. Found a new spot. And there's some fish around. A couple of fish. I wasn't even paying attention. Fish on. This feels like a good one. Another eater. Yep, another 16. Of course this pops up when my GoPro shuts off. Let this rod load up a little bit. Not bad, not a keeper, not bad. Get this guy back right away. Got another flag. Is he still there? like it. This one doesn't feel that big. Oh, I was wrong. Another keeper. See how long he is. This guy kind of looks stumpy. Just over 15 and a half. Good deal. Just double checked the limit and it is 15 to 20 inches. Well, 19, but it's uh, five. So you're three. If I can, I'm going to get five. Then I don't need to get any more walleye anytime soon. Woohoo! Just had one come up and surprise me. Looks like there's two of them. Actually got a hook set into that one. Feels pretty good. <laughs> Let's look at that. <laughs> He's gone. Mm. <laughs> Fifteen and a quarter. Of course, of course the GoPro dies, uh, so I've been throwing this slender spoon all afternoon 
and I've been getting short bites. I don't think I left them, any of them in there, but uh, these little short bites, they're these guys. <laughs> Freaking jumbo perch, probably 11. Gonna go good with the walleye that I'm eating. Um, I'm gonna keep filming, or well, I'm gonna keep fishing. Uh, I might add a couple more video or fishing after this. Otherwise, after this, you'll probably see the outro, but uh, yeah, that's a nice surprise. Hard to beat a little jumbo in the afternoon. Oh, looks like looks like the half bite's not over yet. <laughs> so, just got this guy. It's like 17 inches. A gold hammered slender spoon. That was the that was the key today. That just <laughs> that solidifies it. Did what I needed to do. Got my five fish. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Obviously if you're not new here, you know what's up. But if you are new, consider subscribing. 